August 16th. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> How are everybody doing? Why you are so late? I'm going to give you a song. I'm going to grab you for everyone who's going to song this morning. And just pray that we have a blessed day in the Lord. Amen. This morning, our scripture reading will be coming from the book of Luke, chapter 24. I know it, but I don't. And as we are believers, we are justified by Christ and be a witness for Him. Amen. So in Luke, chapter 24, I will be reading verse 46 through uh, 48. And this is after Christ has arisen. And He said unto them, This is written, and thus it behooves Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witness of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem till ye be endured with power from on high. And what is key about these verses in verse 48? It says, and ye which are us are to be witness of these things. We are the witness of Christ. We have to tell about his glory, about all that he does, and his salvation and his promise. Amen. Amen. Let us now bow in the word of prayer. Wow. Oh, gracious Father, our God, we love you so much. We want to lift your name, Father God, on high in our hearts, Father God, in our minds, in our praise, and in our worship. We thank you once again for the opportunity, Father, just to be before you, to be a witness of you. We love you, Father. We ask this prayer now in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now we have our response read. Let us all rise, please, for the response reading. And as always, let us give God some praise for His word. Oh yes, He's worthy to be praised. If you don't have a program, please raise your hand, and the ushers will assist you. Thank you. Ushers. Good Thank you so much. Thank you. Today's response reading will come out of the book of Nehemiah, chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. I'll read the right print and you read the God. And the men and their wives raised a great outcry against their fellow Jews. Some were saying, we and our sons and daughters are numerous. In order of us to eat and stay alive, we must get grain. Others were saying, we are mortgaging our fields and our vineyards and our homes to get grain during the famine. We'll be 